<laughs> Go-Go's, right? I heard you guys handle the maintenance for the Silver Division. Oh, hey! Be careful connecting the Prowa cables, please. Gandhi. Uh, <laughs> hello. Are you going to lead me to the stage? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, actually, can you tell me which docking chamber they're taking my pod to? After I'm done with the interview, I'd actually prefer to handle the repairs myself. Zara Martin, everybody. Zara! Wow, welcome, Zara. So congratulations on the big win. Now, this has been a rough year for you, and a lot of people were actually surprised to see you make it through the preliminaries. So it must feel great to win the first match in the Silver Division GD competition after all that uncertainty, right? <clears throat> uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, I have to say... Oh my god, I had so much fun. I really did. I, I will admit, I was a little nervous after the second turnover. My stabilizer started to fry and my airflow filter started to spike. Luckily, I was able to keep the limiters leveled long enough to avoid resorting to the emergency power supply. I had to do that once a couple years ago during an exhibition in Narodon. My ship's windshield flung right open because there wasn't enough power to keep it hermetically sealed. And before I could get a close, a branch flew right by my head and almost chopped my head clean off. <laughs> it was so dope. Although the branch unfortunately did end up grazing part of my neck and I almost lost a pint of blood. At one point in the infirmary, it was literally just like spurting out like a fountain. Like... <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Oh, wow. Sorry. What a great attitude to have. Am I right, folks? Uh, that's the last one. So, Miss Martin, as you know, you have a lot of fans out here in the audience and out there watching at home. We asked a lot of them to send in questions, and a lot of them would like to know if there's a Mr. Martin in your life. And if not, what kind of qualities do you find attractive in a potential suitor? Miss Martin? What? Uh, I mean, <clears throat> yes. And I will be taking notes on what you just said. So, do you think the wind speeds also had a factor in your loss? It was my radiation scanners. Once they started redlining halfway through the match, I just became too distracted. It might have been the wind too, but honestly, Cedric, I started the race in a bad rhythm anyway, and once I got distracted by the gamma scanners, I unfortunately just never found my footing. Flo, we love you! Flo! Flo! It's okay. We love you, Flo! <laughs> oh, yeah. So, as we wind down here, Miss Flo, can you tell us what your plans are going forward? I'm going to just stay focused and to try to learn from the mistakes I made. Whatever you pursue, remember to always try your best no matter what, okay? Damn it! So humiliating. How can I even show my face again in this league? After losing to a human. Miss Flo, if I may make a small suggestion- I said get out! Haven't you done enough damage already? Uh, yes ma'am, M- my, my apologies. Throw it in the furnace downstairs! And toss your engineering degrees in there too while you're down there. Just remember to try your best no matter what. Who really believes that? Oh my power! Uh, uh, it's okay. <laughs> Dragging it on its side. Uh, like this is actually uh, safer. Using transport devices always leaves more damages. <laughs> Ah, that's cool. I got it. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, for day two of the Silver Division Tournament. 
coming in live from Arena 66. As you can see, this was the best venue to host our fans in the audience today, as we're experiencing some pretty serious rain showers this afternoon. With 12 mile an hour winds, this will be a tough course to ride for our racers. But for all of us down here in the audience, this is looking like a good day to dive. Alexi Fourwicker from the Oni system, home planet. Now don't let his uh, friendly demeanor fool you. <laughs> Alexi is definitely one you'll want to keep your eye on. He scored one of the highest number of overall wins we've ever seen in the preliminaries, but he is also known for letting his temper get the better of him. So let's see if he is able to keep up that winning streak in the actual tournament. Eustace Sidera from the Antimite Solar System, home planet Chris. Eustace is the latest descendant from the renowned Lao tribe to make it into the Silver Division. Gravity diving is a very prestigious sport on planet Pris, and as many of you know, the Lao tribe has received some very public criticism after rumors of unethical training methods practiced by the Lao tribe surfaced online. Cyan Caster From the Mink Solar System, home planet Dabro, Cyan, of course, has been outspoken about his disapproval of violence in gravity diving. He plans to win the Grove Championship in order to make gravity diving a safer sport. Nara Numia from the Cayman Solar System, home planet Neridon. As many of you know, Nara is no stranger to the league with the most Silver Division Championship attempts in history. Her fluid maneuvers and speed management should not be taken lightly. But will she be able to break her Silver Division curse? Let's find out today! Ezekiel Tippett, from the Force Solar System, home planet Earth, of course. A province known as California. Just like Sarah Martin, Zeke is the first human to be accepted into the Silver Division tournament. During the preliminary qualification races, he had some of the highest scores in intuitive dexterity we've seen to date. His scores showed a skill level never before seen in a human pilot. Yet for some reason, he had the lowest number of first place victories of all the racers in the current Silver Division roster, leaving many to speculate. Just how can someone with seemingly natural piloting skill seem to underperform each race? But once you replace the Lexi coolants with Oxy coolants, that should circulate the heat throughout the whole pod. No, no, I did. I, I replaced them. It's just the way it turned out, the whole engine needed to be- Hey, Ezekiel! Hurry up and board your pod! No loitering in the hangar! Oh, uh, my bad. It's actually just Zeke, uh, by the way. It's actually a pretty great story. Back in my hometown, they actually call me Zeke the Fearless. Basically, because when I was just 16 years old, there was this really tall mountain called I the- I said board your pod! Right, right, sorry. Next time then, hangman! <laughs>
It looks like Nara is coming in last place. But because of the unfortunate death of Zion, Nara will be allowed to continue to the next round. And once again, it seems Zeke botched the perfect chance to win after taking a solid lead during the second turnover. Going forward, I, unfortunately, would not recommend betting money on Zeke Tippett to finish a race in first place. However, I would personally like to bet that Zion...